Have you ever pondered how critical correct medication administration is in the healthcare system? It's not merely about popping pills. It's an intricate science governed by five essential rights, each playing a pivotal role in ensuring patient safety and optimal therapeutic outcomes. First, let's explore the right patient. It might seem obvious, but confirming the patient's identity before administering medication is crucial. It's not unheard of for patients to be given medication meant for someone else. Therefore, always check the patient's identification band and use at least two identifiers, such as their name and date of birth. Moving on to the second right, the right medication. This involves verifying the medication against the original order and the patient's medication profile. Check the medication's name, strength and appearance. If something seems off, don't hesitate to question it. Next is the right dose. This necessitates a keen understanding of the medication's standard dosing, the patient's specific dose, and the ability to calculate and measure the correct dose. It's imperative to double-check calculations and to utilize available resources when unsure. The fourth right, the right route, determines how the medication enters the patient's body. Is it oral, intravenous, or another route? Incorrect medication routes can lead to ineffective treatment or harmful complications, so always verify the route with the medication order. Lastly, the right time refers to administering the medication at the right intervals as prescribed. Timing can significantly affect a medication's effectiveness and safety. Therefore, understanding the medication's pharmacokinetics, how it's absorbed, distributed, metabolized, and excreted by the body, proves essential. To recap, the five rights of medication administration, the right patient, the right medication, the right dose, the right route, and the right time, form the cornerstone of safe and effective medication administration. Each right is an integral part of a safety net designed to catch potential medication errors before they reach the patient. Prevention strategies in this context are as crucial as the rights themselves. They include comprehensive education for healthcare professionals, implementing technology like barcoding and electronic health records, and fostering a culture of open communication where healthcare professionals can discuss and learn from medication errors without fear of blame. Remember, the goal of these rights and prevention strategies isn't just to avoid errors, it's to provide the best possible care for patients. Because in healthcare, every detail matters, and even the smallest mistake can have significant consequences. That's it for today's topic. Keep these five rights in mind and let them guide your practice. They could make all the difference in your patient's health and safety. Goodbye for now, and always remember, knowledge is the first step to better healthcare.